Hello everyone, my name is Ron Ferreira. I'm an Office Development MVP and a Technical Lead at Busy. Today I want to show you what is possible to do with Microsoft Lists Formatting and to show all the potential of this platform, I bring you a custom list formatting that I did to replicate the functionality that exists in Microsoft to do, but using Microsoft Lists. So, for those of you that are not familiar with uh, Microsoft To Do and what Microsoft To Do is, here is a brief description of um, what To Do does. So it's a simple tool that allows you to add your tasks, complete them, set due dates, categorize them, add attachments and mark them as favorites to move them all the way to the top of your list. So this is what I'm uh, aiming to implement using Microsoft Lists. In this image here on the left side, you can see Microsoft To Do and here on the right, exactly with the same tasks, you can see a replica, but this time made with Microsoft Lists. And this is what I will explain you how to implement. So uh, after looking into Microsoft to do main features, I've decided that I want to port and bring to Microsoft Lists the task title, the description, the due date, the category, the uh, possibility to mark a task as complete, the possibility to attach files. So if I have a document that is relevant to a, a certain task, I want to add it to the item and inform other users collaborating in the same list that the document is there. The information about the create and updated status and dates. And this is not just the date, but also the user who created the item and who last updated the item and the possibility to mark the item as important. So this way it goes all the way to the top of the uh, to-do list. And um, as we see over here on number 10, the possibility to delete an item directly from the formatting itself. So there is no need to go to the list, select it and then delete the item. With this in mind, I came um, to this list definition. Um, there are a few extra columns other than the default title that you will have to define. Um, we don't need to create columns to all the things we've identified and we've seen here before in the to-do as some of them are built in in the Microsoft List platform. So title, it's there by default when you create a new list, then um, we will need a new description column as a multi-line of text, a category, uh, it's a choice column, so you will be able then to define whatever categories you want to, a due date to make all the comparisons so we can then uh, see dates displayed with different font weights, colors, uh, and so on, and two yes or no uh, columns, one to mark it as important and another one to mark it as complete. The last one here, the um, calculated column, the date calculated column as a single line of text, it is used just to display the uh, date in the same format that Microsoft To Do uses. So if I go back here, as you can see, uh, the date in To Do and the date in Microsoft List is displayed exactly in the same format. And behind the scenes, um, this is the trick that is doing um, that formatting. For all the comparisons, we will rely on the due date um, column. So once you get the um, list definition complete, this is what you will see still very far away from the to-do list, but one step closer from achieving something that will allow you to manage your tasks. So we will proceed to continue our uh, implementation. So the next step is to create a to-do view and this to-do view will sort the items by favorite and then uh, by due date. So this is what will move your icon, uh, your um, task all the way to the top when you click in the um, favorite star icon. To separate to-do tasks from completed ones, we will group them by status. And once the view gets completed, this is what you will see. 
there's data already in here. There are two different groups, but as you can see, the status say yes and no. It's not that um, good looking as Microsoft to do, but again, already uh, working and you are able to track your tasks using this list layout. But let's get into the fun part. The formatting that I'm about to show you has around 500 uh, lines. I will not go through every single line, but I highlighted the main uh, features that this formatting has and I want to uh, mention some of the things that I think are important. So starting with the groups, uh, I use the group properties um, here to format these two groups and what I have in here is the background color defined as the, the theme primary color. This means that this color here will be adjusted automatically to uh, the theme on the SharePoint site where the list is added or uh, to the theme of Microsoft lists if you are viewing the list inside of lists. And then um, in this previous slide, as you can see, the status uh, say yes and no. Uh, so I want to format this properly to say to do and complete, followed by the number of items. The number of items is not here in the code, but um, it's also uh, covered in this, sec in this uh, section. But as you can see here, if the group uh, field data display name is equal to yes, then it prints completed, otherwise it prints to do. And that's exactly what we see here. So first part uh, explained, now let's move forward to the status. And the status uh, is this option over here that allows you to complete one of the tasks. And to do this without going to the task and without going to the item and change the value directly in edit mode, um, this is using the custom row action with a set value that um, changes the status value stored in this particular column. By doing this, uh, the uh, icon that exemplifies, that represents this um, content area here also changes to a circle with a check or to a circle with um, a ring depending on the task being completed or still in the to-do um, group. The title, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's what we have over here. It's just displaying and, and showing what uh, is in the um, title column. The date is a bit more complex. And here we can observe what I mentioned in the list definition, uh, where uh, uh, we are using the due date and the date columns to format the um, date value. So we have different font weights, we have different date formats, and we have different colors. So for um, tasks that are overdue, uh, you will see the uh, font weight increased and this the date displayed in red. For the tasks that happen today, uh, there's a comparison here between the due date and the date of the current day. And if it matches, then it's displayed as today. And in blue, um, and for tasks that are completed, uh, we can see either uh, due uh, and the name of the, the date and or overdue and the date, depending if the due date has already happened or uh, not. For um, the next section, and I'm referring here to five, six, and seven notes, tags, and attachments, that is this area here. The first two, five and six, only display the information that exists in the list. So it displays this icon if there's um, a note or a description added to the item. Same thing for the tag. Uh, but this one, the attachment is a bit different. Uh, from the formatting, I don't have access to the attachments to the item, but I know that there are attachments there. So um, this uh, icon here will allow the user to um, click on it and it will open the item pane. So the user will be able to interact directly uh, with the uh, attached uh, files and download or open them if um, needed. The comments and the favorites, again, um, those two options here um, use the same custom row action, uh, one with default click to open the um, item pane to display the comments 
and another one um, to mark the item as favorite and to move it all the way to the top. So the comments um, have two different status, like uh, the, the favorites and uh, the comments with color and uh, with this icon means that the list item have comments. Um, so it indicates a user that if he clicks here, uh, the um, pane will open and will reveal everything. Uh, this uh, icon means that there are no comments, but still, if the user clicks on it, it will open the uh, item uh, pane and the user will be able to add comments uh, to it. Last but not least, we have this section here that reveals all the information about an item. So we have item detail, the, the edit um, form inside of the item and the created and updated deletes as well as the delete task button. So number 11 um, here um, allows you to easily edit the title, the description, the due date and the category without editing the item. So if you click in this area here, you will be able to inline edit everything. The uh, number 12 will show the created date the created user, the user that created the item, the updated date, and the user that um, last updated the item. Number 13 will delete the item directly from here, and all of this is wrapped in the custom card uh, props. And for the delete item, like the ones we've seen before, there's a custom row action, but the action value this time um, is delete, and this will delete the entire item from the list. But um, better than seeing this explained here is seeing this in action. So I will quickly bring up here the list um, in Microsoft uh, lists. And um, this is what I've been showing you here. So as you can see, there are a couple tasks here that are already completed. But as I move uh, and as I um, move my mouse around, you see things happening and I'm able to easily interact with these items. From here, I'm able to change the um, title, change the category to something um, else. And all of this is done without opening the item detail. Uh, for the attachments, um, as I mentioned, this opens the uh, item um, detail pane and here is the attachment and same thing for the uh, comments. And if I remove um, this uh, star and add it to here, immediately you can see that it reacts to the view and to the rules that were defined for the view and it changed the position of the items as uh, it would do in a regular um, list without the formatting applied. So once you get the 500 lines of code uh, and if you want to then apply them uh, to your list, all you have to do is go here to the view selection and from here select the for format current view and paste the code. One important thing that you should take into consideration is that if you've changed or if you've created columns with different names, then you will have to adjust those in the um, in the in, in the code. So it, the formatting matches with the name of your columns. This um, sample will be soon available in the PNP GitHub repo. For now, it's not there yet, but uh, it will be um, in a matter of a few days. If you want to get the code now, the only thing uh, you will um, need to do is go to my uh, blog, download uh, the code from there, hands on list.net, and as a bonus, I have there a PowerShell script that allows you not only to get the list installed, but also um, deploy it as a template from your organization so all other users can uh, take advantage of the formatting without the need of replicating all these um, manual steps. So here is the link for uh, the uh, first article where this entire process is explained and soon uh, it will be available also in this GitHub 
uh, repository. If you have questions about this formatting, you can reach me directly on Twitter. And again, uh, go to handsonlist.net and you will find this sample and a lot more that will help you to take more um, out of Microsoft lists in just a few clicks. Bye-bye.